What it doing? How you doing? It's your boy Marty Ma. Got my man. It's Zo if you ain't know. Zo if you ain't know. What it do, brother? How you doing, man? Good to have you back, man. Um, as always, y'all wanna say uh, ETM thanks. All the supporters, all the likes, and uh, subscriptions are going up. You know, about to get at a hundred. And uh, we're doing a giveaway at 100, okay? We're doing a little small cash giveaway at 100, so stay tuned for that. Um, but enough of that, this one's about Kobe. Because I want to pay tribute to Kobe, Bean, Bryant. And it took me a minute to do this because I didn't want to hop on like everybody else. Or, you know, I want to take time to let it hit me and measure and all that. And um, first, let's do a moment of silence for Kobe his family, his daughter, and everybody else who lost their lives on that helicopter. So uh, everybody's doing a moment of silence. Three, two, one. All right, man. Uh, thank you for agreeing with us and doing that. And we just do that to send condolences to the family because uh, that was a tragic thing. Um, what did Kobe mean to you, bro? Just looking at Kobe. It's Kobe. <clears throat> just meant toughness and everything. Toughness. Uh, your brand, bro. What's your brand called? Resilience. Resilience. He had that mama mentality. And um, just uh, to me, from a little kid, uh, you know, I'm a 90s baby, but I watched a little bit of Jordan. But when I really was watching basketball, early 2000s, it's Kobe. Uh, you know, Kobe, like D Wade and a couple others, Carmelo, like LeBron. But Kobe was leading the pack, and it was just crazy seeing somebody who was so skilled. And, you know, people used to hate on Kobe at first, rightfully so, because he was that dog, you feel me? That mamba. And um, I like Kobe a lot. Like, his impact on me, not just as a competitor playing football throughout high school and college, but just taking it off and being competitive and just trying your hardest in other aspects off the uh, field and court too. So, um, what you think, bro, as far as like tragedies, like where does this rank? <clears throat> this is probably the most, the most top ranked one. Cause it was so, so surprising how it happened. Yeah, definitely top rank. And, um, Besides that, like, would you, seeing this, how did you feel that day? Because you, you gave me the news early, before everybody else had it, it wasn't on no social media yet. It was just like, you called me and you, I was like, bro, you're lying. I didn't want to believe it. <coughs> but yeah, like, what was your feeling when you first heard it? Because uh, uh, I got a text saying that, that Kobe died. Like, what? Right. And I was like, yeah, it can't be true. Nah, it just didn't feel real. Like, it felt like, like that day, the day after that, and the day after that, not only did I feel like the whole world, who knew it, just thought about that, but it's like, if it could happen to him, it could happen to me. Like, everybody took a moment. I feel like when you stop, like, the world for a moment even, the impact is great. And it's greater even. We lost a couple, like Nipsey, you feel me? Uh, we lost comedians like Bernie Mac. You know, same like Isaac Hayes, like just different people. And then when it happens to somebody like that so young and so successful, you just like, dog, why? Why, why, why? Um, we ain't really gonna make this too long. I said we ain't gonna, we're not gonna have this too long. This is a tribute. Um, you know, again, we wanna send our condolences to Vanessa. Brian, his wife, and the family, and uh, everybody else who um, suffered. And again, his impact was so great on and off the court. Like, I know the people at LA is just thinking like, they lost a legend there. And then the people who, who maybe started even playing basketball or started doing something from watching how he competed. And then as a father, I know fathers are feeling that, because it was him and his daughter. You know, and he left other daughters and his wife, so it's again a tragedy and um uh if anybody has any, you know, donations definitely send them to 
uh, Vanessa Bryant's the GoFundMe, and it's not just towards her. Of course, they got money. It's towards the other families, you know, who are suffering. But nine people lost their lives on the helicopter. So, uh, I, I think we'll wrap it up with that, bro. Um, any last comments or questions you want to say? No, I'm keep the keep the mama mentality going. Yeah. And uh, yeah, definitely mama mentality. I think we'll leave it at that. As Kobe would say, Kobe out, man. ETM, thank you. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the more skits, more podcasts, and uh, more news, bro. We're going we're gonna to keep this thing running. Anyway. All right, we out. Y'all yeah, know what it is, man. It's your boy, Marty Mar, man. Like and subscribe, man. I appreciate the love. Let's go, man. We need y'all, man. Uh, it's your boy Marty Mar on this beat I ride. Asking y'all to please like and subscribe. And if you don't like it, then leave it in the comments. And if you like it, subscribe. I'm talking to your conscience. Please subscribe. Yeah.